What is up and welcome back to set guys. This is it. This is workout 28. This is the last workout of your program. You did it. You're here. So knowing that, tell yourself you did not come this far. You did not work this hard just to stop. Now finish this workout strong. Give me everything you can, the best that you can, and tell yourself throughout the entire thing that you can do it. All right, before I go any further, let's go ahead and dive into this warm up. And I'll tell you more about what you can expect for today's last and final workout. Go ahead and join me right here for this nice and easy jog. Now, make sure to keep it nice and easy, all right? This is a warm up, okay? I'm gonna continue talking about this workout, so keep going, I'll let you know when to switch it up, all right? So for today, it is called Hit Finale. However, not just hit, <laughs> all right? We have actually a mix, a combination of three main styles that were themes throughout this entire program, all right? So round one, we have a Tabata round. Round two was a slow burn, and round three, we're finishing off with that hit. Three, two, one, I want you to step forward over that right, or front, I should say. Maybe it's not your right, it's my right. But over your front leg, go ahead and twist for me, all right? Get nice and low. Remember, knee hovers above the ground. It doesn't touch the ground. I'm gonna keep talking. So like I said, three different rounds. Combination of the different themes that we've had throughout this entire program. Now, how they work. Round one, your Tabata round. You have six moves, all right? Split up by 60 second move, followed by your Tabata. You guys have done this style before. The Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of an active rest, okay? Now you repeat the Tabata twice, then you go on to the next move, which is another 60 second move, okay? We repeat that, we only go through this round once. All right, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax slight, bending your knees, rotate your hips, make sure your ribs are down, core is in tight, lat pulls, warm up, all of that. There you go. Now I'm gonna continue talking, so keep going for me. Round two is our slow burn. For this one, we only have three moves. Each move is 60 seconds. There is no break. We move on from one to the next, okay? What that means for you is that during these actual moves, I'm gonna tell you how slow to go, how fast to come up, all right? What to do, whatever we're doing, okay? So listen to my cue. Round three is that hit move, and you have seen this style before as well. Three, two, one, butt kickers, right here. There we go, try and get those heels to your glutes if you can. If not, you're right here, that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna keep talking. You've seen this hit style before. We have four moves. These moves are 30 seconds a piece, back to back to back to back, okay? Then we have a power move. This power move is 60 seconds long, all right? You repeat the four moves three times, and then we do the power move at the very, very end, and then you are done. Now, unless I tell you that there is no way to quit in it. Three, two, one, up and out for hip openers. Now, unless I tell you that there's no weight equipment needed, you're using it, all right? Unless you need to modify and you need to drop it, but hey, remember, this is the last workout. You've seen these moves before, okay? You know what they are. You've done them before. You've worked so hard. So for this workout, tell yourself, I am going to fight, I'm going to push, I'm gonna challenge myself, and I am going to crush this last and final workout, and I'm gonna walk away from this workout feeling so stinking good, because I did it. All right, three, two, one, relax, round one. It's coming up. Tabata, 
Move one. Don't worry. I will tell you more about what's coming up next to make sure that we're keeping on time. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the first move. Now my weights are over here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of them. Okay. Make sure that you have a wide variety because we have such different rounds. I want you to make sure that you're able to have something that you can use for each round. Okay. First move is a hammer curl to a kickback. So how that's going to look, I'm going to show you from an angle again in hammer curl is when you're going up. Okay. So the head of the dumbbell is going to be up here. It's not going to be off to the side like a normal bicep curl. Hammer curl up. As you come down, you're going to kick your hips back and then you're going to row up, kick back for those triceps. All right. Right here. Hammer down. All right. That is move one. That is your 60 seconds. Your Tabata is a high low plank to shoulder taps. Okay. Those are the first two. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my weights. I want you to go ahead and grab stuff, get them all set up. All right. You have just a few minutes left, not minutes. Wow. <laughs> Y'all would be here for a while, but we really did have minutes. You guys have a few seconds left until we actually get started. All right. Now I'm going to have a range from lights to heavy. And when I say lights, I mean fives. <laughs> I have 20s, I have 30s, I have more over there. If I need to grab any, I'm gonna grab them, all right? Are you ready? Because we are going to go here in three, two, one. Grab your weights, hammer right into it. Hammer up, down. Now as you come down, come into that hinge, row, kick back. There you go. Now this is 60 seconds, okay? So I want you to make sure that you have a weight that you can control the form with. I'm gonna talk through that form real quick, okay? Slight bend in your knees. Your abs are in tight, right? As you come up, you stop before your shoulder. Don't rest at your shoulder. Don't rest on your thighs or down. Don't let your elbows swing, all right? Once you're here, you're gonna come down kicking your hips back. All right, 30 seconds already done. From here, weights in your heels as you row up. Make sure that you extend just the elbow length, okay? There you go, and then you'll go back down and repeat. Make sure your core is engaged, okay? Make sure that you have weight that you can continue doing. Our next move is that high-low plank, all right? After the high-low, you'll do a shoulder tap on each side, okay? Keep going for me right here. There we go. You're doing good. You have 10 seconds left. There we are. There we are. Keep going. Whoop, I forgot my hammer. <laughs> Three, two, one. Drop your weight. Make sure that you are doing this away from your weight for me. High lows, immediately into it. Down, down, up, up, tap, tap. 20 seconds right here go for me your hold for this move when i say to hold is a low forearm plank okay make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders for that low forearm plank you're making sure that your elbows are underneath your shoulders three two one hold low hold low rotate your hips get your core engaged make sure your butt isn't up make sure it's not down we go again in three two one go go high low up up tap tap widen your stance with your legs to make sure that your hips aren't moving okay you're doing good you are fighting for me right now so i want you to keep fighting for me okay you're doing so good you're almost there three two one come on down hold 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 right here right here there we go keep pushing for me your next move i'll tell you when to stop holding is an rdl all right two one come up grab your weights grab your weights you have an rdl to a squat okay i'm gonna start with 20s i'm gonna see how that feels rdl there we go pull it up squat there we go now make sure keep going for me keep going make sure that as you come down you are hinging hinging at those hips like you got karate chopped okay make sure the weight is in your heels make sure your glutes are engaged as you squeeze up and then squeeze at the top okay here as you're down here weight stays close you'll pull up move up to your shoulders your your back stays flat chest stays up okay engage your core engage your glutes weights in your heels no matter what part of the move you're in keep going less than 30 
seconds. Stay with me. There we go. Now, your next move is a Tabata. All right, this move is a triple bear and then you'll do an in and out plank. Okay, I'm gonna show you right now. So keep going, keep going. How it looks. You guys know the triple bear, right? Side, middle, side. Out to a plank, into a bear, repeat. All right, three, two, one. Come join me, come join me. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You only lift a couple of inches. You do your three, and then you hop out to the plank, and you hop in. Now, to modify, keep going. You're almost there, you have less than 10. And then we'll hold the bear. To modify, step, 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 out, in, step, step. You just take everything down a notch, okay? Two, one, hold that bear. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Your knees are just a couple of inches above the ground, okay? They're not back here. They're not up here. Three, two, one, let's go again. There we go, there we go. Now make sure as you're doing this entire move, your back has to stay flat, okay? Don't let it pop up. Don't let it try to do the work, okay? Keep it flat. Now, I'm gonna talk about your next move, your last 60 second move. Keep going for me. I'll tell you when to hold. Three, two, one, hold. You're holding that bear. I'm gonna talk you through your next 60 second. It's an overhead hold with a V-sit in and out, okay? One weight, overhead, find that V-sit position, in and out. Three, two, one, join me right here, right here. Take it nice and slow, not fast pace. Now, let me talk through some things. Make sure you get set up, all right? If you need to, find your place first, then grab your weight. Make sure if you're modifying, your heels are on the ground, but your weight is not placed into the heels. It's only there for support, okay? Only there for support. Your weight is not directly above your head. It is over your chest, okay? Not over your head. Right here, if you need to. If that weight is throwing you off, drop the weight. Do it, arms up still, but without it, okay? You're doing so good. You have 30 seconds left. Keep fighting for me, all right? If you start to find like, hey, maybe I just need to go down and wait, do it, all right? Make sure that your back is not rounding okay make sure that you aren't arching engage your core slow slow there we go what i mean by slow real quick i want to make sure that you're not like spazzing out okay that's actually going to put so much stress on your hips on your back you're going to lose form all these different things are going to happen okay keep going you're almost done the twisted mountain climbers are coming up all right three two one hands underneath your shoulders mountain climbers except you're going to the opposite knee join me right now right now that's it this is your last tabata last tabata modification listen to me modification right here right here that's it stay here awesome job now your gaze is two to three inches in front of your hands your core is engaged and your back is down two one high plank hold high plank hold now from here check is your butt here or is it down here pull it up rotate your hips in engage your core hands are underneath your shoulders two one go again keep that form the whole time keep that form hands underneath your shoulders okay don't let them move out don't let your body lean back that'll happen sometimes stay in it okay rotate rotate keep everything tight everything's tight you have less than five and then we hold okay almost there two one high plank engage it all engage it all keep going you're almost done then you're done with this round you'll get a break okay stay here with me three two one get up and move grab a drink okay i'm gonna start talking through round two round two is the slow burn round okay everything is 60 seconds all right first move it's a squat pulse 
come back up, okay? I will talk you through everything as far as the pace, okay? Weights can be here, weight can be here, or you can have one here, okay? Completely up to you. Your feet are gonna be just a little bit wider than hip width, okay? Additionally, move number two, moving right on, is a push-up release. This is where you do the push-up all the way down to the ground. You release your hands, and then you place them, and you push back up, okay? I will talk you through that. Then you have leg drops. This is where you're laying down, legs are straight up, and you're using your core to control the up and down motion, okay? We go in five, grab your weights. Two, one, ready? Slow, come down, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold. Now here, go up, one, two, three, four, five, hold. Come up, one, two, three, four, five, six, there you go. Keep counting that six count for me. Then you're gonna hold for a second and pulse. Keep going, I'm gonna talk through a couple things with this form, all right? The whole time, even as you're slowly lowering, make sure that your core is engaged, your chest is up, weight is in your heels, all right? You're almost there, guys. You have 30 seconds left. Just 30 seconds, okay? Your pulses are low, low, low modification. You can either lose weight altogether and do this without weight, or you can keep your weight and just limit your range of motion but make sure if you're limiting your chest stays up your core is in tight the weights in your heels and your glute is engaged and you squeeze as you come up too okay you guys are doing good three two one drop your weight get into the push-up find a place without your weights around we go in three two one come on down elbows back two three four five six on the ground release your hands place them right now i want you to squeeze your abs flex them squeeze your glutes two one push up holding everything in tight there you go come down one two three four five six you're on the ground release your hands place squeeze your glutes engage your core keep everything tight and push up there you go keep going i'm going to talk through some form here okay six down squeeze squeeze push straight up there's no count on the straight up okay keep going for me now make sure you guys have 30 seconds left make sure that as you guys get ready to push back up you are really engaging your abs as if somebody is going to come up and punch you in the abs okay i hope nobody does all right but as if somebody was and squeeze your glutes you have to keep that tight or else you're going to incorporate muscles i do not want you to incorporate okay if you need to perform from your knees elbows go back as you go down your gaze is three to five inches in front of you okay not at your feet if you need to you're performing from your knees you're almost there three two one switch it over switch it over you have leg drops come down with me right here right here up up grab a weight grab a weight weighted leg drop right here lower there you go up same count six down six up now keep going i am going to talk through some form if you are one of my dr ladies i want you to stop go to a modified plank if you don't notice the coning or bulging or come right here your tabletop position kick out down and in if you notice coning or bulging come down kick out from here keep going you guys are almost there you're halfway done okay now modifications either a keep the weight up and just use one leg at a time or drop the weight hands underneath your glutes up lower for six raise for six now make sure you guys have your low back down to that ground is it if it's not rotate it right now rotate it right now get it into that low back Get it into that floor. <laughs> Get it into that low back. Get it into the floor, all right? Stay here. Your weight is up here. It's there to help you keep stabilized, all right? But it also adds some resistance. Two, one. You guys are all done. You guys are all done with that, okay? Move around for me. I'm gonna talk through your last, your final round. 
Okay, go ahead. Make sure you guys are getting your weights moved out of the way so that as we do these moves, as we get into these new rounds, you know, you don't risk tripping, stepping over them, okay? Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Round three, your last and final round, all right? This is your hit. This is the four moves, 30 seconds a piece, and we repeat three times, and then we add in that power move, and that power move, guys, it's a challenge today, all right? It's not one move straight forward, all right? So move number one, you have weighted squat jump, okay? You can either A, hold weight here or hold weight here. You're gonna load up, jump, plain and simple, right? Then you have plank extension, okay? We have less than 30 seconds before we begin, so start getting your weights ready. Plank extension, you're gonna have a row with it, so you'll have a weight, weights in the middle, just one, okay? You only need one, you're gonna alternate your arms. Right here, you're going to lift, place opposite arm grabs rows down and then up down grab row down place up all right i'll talk you through it don't worry then you have full body extension three two one grab your weight squat jack squat jump sorry right here right here there you go 30 seconds 30 seconds let me keep talking your next move is that plank extension i'm gonna go ahead and get an area ready okay so i'm gonna come back here for that one you only need one weight for that plank extension okay less than 10 keep going weights can be down here or up here for that squat jack modification calf raise three two one come on down get ready with me hands underneath your shoulders let's go let's go you're going to extend one arm place it down other arm grab the weight row up place it down then touch lift down now repeat other side row down place up down now it is key that during this move your abs are engaged your glutes are engaged all right if you need to widen your stance because i don't want your hips moving do not let your butt pop up don't let your back round okay that is showing that you are compensating somewhere else all right you're almost there three two one relax come on down full body extension lay on your back all right chest is up right here out to the side and in right here remember you are not bringing it straight up and over okay that gives you momentum i don't want you to have momentum for this i want it all to come from here okay so straight out now modification right here you're gonna have your legs up you're still gonna go out to the side but what i want you to do is out and up you're doing very little very little you have a figure four coming up you're gonna want about a medium weight okay three two one grab your weight figure four hold here at your chest i'm going to show you full on one leg right here up back up back right here right here from this side what it looks like now you stay low the whole time you are trying to bring let me show you you're trying to bring your ankle towards your calf not down low up here okay so very similar to the lunge connect that we had in the other workout except you're raising your ankle up a little bit higher you're touching back and going in you're not going into a lunge all right three two one weighted squat jack squat jump good night three back into it go 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 now don't worry we're gonna hit the other leg for that one on the other round okay okay right here right here stay with me there you go now again you can have weights here modification calf raise core is engaged load up your hamstrings because that's going to help you propel forward you have less than 15 seconds then we go to that plank extension all right remember you're lifting your arm shoulder height or just below you are not going higher than that three two one come on down join me right here right here lift plant other arm rows plant up down grab row down plant up there we go keep it going some form modification perform from your knees if the weight is throwing you off even with the modification 
forget the weight, okay? You can do it all without the weight, all right? You can do it all without weight. Make sure your body isn't leaning to one side or the other. Less than five. Then we go to that full body. All right, two, one. Place your weight is on the side. Place it off to the side, right here. Join me, join me. I'm gonna get into frame a little bit more. There we go, there we go. Make sure the whole time your gaze is up at an angle, okay? Never is it down, looking at your legs, looking at your feet, okay? It's always up at the ceiling to ensure that you are keeping a neutral position. Remember modification, you're right here, up down dr ladies i don't want you doing this okay instead one leg here press into that thigh and your thigh presses into your hand all right three two one come on up figure four the other leg <clears throat> go right into it load up that other leg now remember during this move you stay low can you get low for me lower lower make sure that the weight is in your heel you should be able to get low right here right here all right modification drop the weight or you can keep your weight and take it slow in tap down right here this weight is in your heel all right three two one weighted squat jumps got it right <clears throat> last round let's go you're doing good i want you to know that you are here you are about to finish your last workout for this program you are about to finish it don't you dare quit now don't quit on me now don't quit on you remember why you started this what goals do you have what is your why are you going to get there by stopping right now are you going to reach them by quitting on yourself three two one planks planks join me join me you guys are doing good you guys are doing good extend down other arm row now as you row you're rowing up towards your ribs just below your chest line not up here right down here okay and not up to your hip okay right under here pull it in tight abs are in tight okay keep your glutes tight for me keep going you have 10 seconds then we're gonna go to that full body extension okay remember dr ladies let me show you real quick three two one come on down everybody full body extension i'm gonna show dr ladies remember you're here you can have one leg up pressing creating that opposition or extend out okay same work all right keep going for me keep going for me right there there we go there we go out to the side out to the side fight for me breathe right here breathe can you keep going challenge yourself yes you can do not quit all right next is the figure fours okay i will tell you when to switch legs during this one okay keep fighting for me three two one grab your weight grab your weight okay now you know it you know it so i'm gonna talk about your power move i will let you know when to switch legs all right power move you have a mix you have sprawlers fast feet back to sprawlers back to fast feet so it's 30 seconds each okay that means we are doing this one for instead of the 60 seconds surprise surprise i'm making you do it for two minutes i had to throw a surprise in there right go ahead and switch legs for me go ahead and switch legs for me i had to throw a surprise in there okay so remember your sprawlers keep going i'll tell you when to stop they're coming down out drop down lift your hands back up hands pop up you repeat okay fast feet you guys know them all right three two one relax we go into sprawlers take a deep breath for me it's two minutes i'm gonna give you a quick breather all right one two three four five again back down five four three 
two, one, sprawlers, let's go, let's go. You're doing great. Keep it up for me, modification, you're here. You step, step, down, up, in, in, keep fighting for me. You've got this, you are doing good. I do not want you to quit on yourself. I know this round is probably gonna be a little bit hard, okay? It is two minutes, each move is 30 seconds, but you can fight, you can do it. You're over halfway done with this move. That means you're almost done, you're about to go into fast feet, okay? Do not quit on you, keep fighting for me. Keep fighting, girl. Three, two, one, right here, fast feet. Hop up, hop up, go, 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 go. Go faster than you have before. Challenge yourself right now. I know you can. Do not tell me you can't. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. Remember, God did not make you to think you were weak. You are strong. You can do it. You can do it. Stay here with me. Stay here with me. You're almost there. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Sprawlers, go, go. That means you guys have less than a minute now. Less than a minute. Let me talk to you real quick, keep going. I don't want you to quit. If you have to modify, modify, but try not to modify that much. I want you to challenge yourself right now to do more than you have before because you can. This is it. This is the last one. You have to fight for it. You have to want it, all right? And I want you to fight. You can. Think of why right now. When you are getting tired, when you want to quit, think of your why right now. Fast me right here. Right here. This is it, guys. This is it. This is your last 30 seconds with me. This is it. I want you to fight. I want you to stay in it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay in it. Stay in it. Don't quit on me. Do not quit. Why are you here? Why did you work this hard for this long? Stay in it. Think of that on your toes. Do not quit. Do not slow down. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Relax. Relax. Woo. You did it. You did it. You did it. Keep breath. Keep moving for me. Hands overhead if you need to. There you go. There you go. You're doing great. That two minutes flew by. And through your nose, out through your mouth. You ready? I'm gonna take some deep breaths. Big inhale up through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. One more for me. There you go. Come all the way down, all the way down. There you go. And through your nose, out through your mouth. Get that heart rate down. Get your breathing under control. Girl, <laughs> look at you. You're here. You did it. You did it. Widen your stance a little bit. Lean towards one side. It's like a lateral lunge, except support yourself with your hands. There we go. Toes are forward. Keep your feet on the ground. You completed a four week program. Switch to the other side. I don't know if you've completed programs before or not. Okay. Maybe you have and maybe this was easy peasy to you. All right. Maybe you haven't. And maybe it was hard. Okay. Maybe it could have been easy. Go back to the other side again. But maybe it was hard. Maybe there were times where you thought, mm, no, I want to quit early. I don't want to do this. I'm too tired. Do I have to do this? Maybe you felt like you were doubting yourself. Other side, maybe you have doubted yourself before in the past. You told yourself you're not worth it. You don't deserve it. You can't do it. You're just not that girl. You'll never be able to reach your goals. Well, I want to tell you something. Push up to center. Stay here. 
where are you right now? Are you at the end of this workout? Yeah, you are. Girl, you did it. You are strong. No, you're not like another girl. None of us will ever be like somebody else and that is perfectly 100% okay and that is what it's designed. Go ahead and step in, kick one foot back, create that small little triangle. This is where you have both knees straight and you're leaning back towards that back leg, okay? But I want you to tell yourself right now, I did this. I told myself I was going to and I fought every single day. I proved that I am strong. Doesn't matter if I had to modify or take breaks or stop or do whatever I needed to do when I needed to do it. I fought through this and I completed. Go ahead and switch. You are worthy of it. Any goal you have, you can do it. You can achieve it, you can complete it. It comes down to how bad do you want it and are you willing to put in the work that it takes to get there? Go ahead and step in for me right here. Because if you are and you're willing to show up every single day doing the best you can, not, not going, you know, hard as you can every single day, not trying to be like some super trainer, but just being you, being the person God designed you to be. Because let me tell you, God designed you and you are beautiful. He makes absolutely no mistakes. And he did not start with you, girl. He did not. Roll up for five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder rolls to the back. He didn't start with you. I want you to go to a mirror right now, or maybe not right now, when you're done. And I want you to look into the mirror and say, I am beautiful. And I was beautiful before I started this. Switch directions with the shoulder rolls. I was beautiful before I started this program, before I decided I wanted to work on my health. The only thing that I'm changing is that I am deciding to honor this body. I'm deciding to respect this body. I'm deciding to love this body and take care of it. That's all I'm deciding to do because you deserve it. Your body is a wonderful machine. It is a beautiful machine. Go ahead and pull over for me. Okay, it can do so many stinking amazing things. And look what it's done for you so far. Just think of all the amazing things it's going to continue to do for you. Go ahead and switch. Remember, I, if, you, if you go and you look at your measurements or you're weighing yourself and maybe you didn't make the progress you wanted, maybe you aren't seeing anything, remember a couple of things. It takes the body four to six weeks to even adapt to something. So it could take four to six weeks to see change, okay? Pull it back. Additionally, you might not see the weight on the scale drop. You might see your clothes fitting better or your sleep improving or your energy levels improving. Those are indicators of health and progress too, okay? But if you didn't reach the goal that you wanted, go ahead and switch, and you start to get down on yourself, I want you to stop, okay? Just stop thinking about the physical stuff, and I want you to think, where was I four weeks ago? Where was I? Was I constantly beating myself up? Was I constantly doubting myself? Did it take me forever to do this move? Go ahead and relax. Did it take me, you know, a while to do a push-up? Could I even do a full-out push-up and can I do one now? Think of those things because I promise you, if you focus on where you are in the journey right now, not, not where you want to be, okay? Yes, it's important to think about where you want to be too, but don't fixate on it. Focus on where you are now and love where you are now compared to where you were when you started. Shift that mindset. Okay, and always tell yourself that you are strong, you are valued, and you are worthy of all of the goals that you have. You just have to trust and believe in yourself and really put in the work and the effort 
the best that you can, remember, not anybody else, the best that you can, and fight for your goals daily because you can. You can do it, okay? And with that, I want to thank you for joining me for set. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming in every single workout, giving me your best, fighting, pushing through. Maybe some some things were easy for you. Maybe some things were hard. Regardless, you're here. And I thank you for joining me and for being with me these past four weeks. I could not have asked for a, a more amazing person to come on, to do this workout, to join me every day and to fight for her goals every single day, okay? You are so awesome, girl, okay? You are beautiful, you are strong, you are amazing and I want you to remember that and I hope that I see you in another workout program together, all right? Have an amazing, amazing day and I will talk to you very, very soon, hopefully, and see you in another workout program. Have an amazing day.